Hi everyone and welcome to this week's quick fix. I've begun by drawing a circle uh, with my compass. It's about seven and a half centimeters across and we're going to do another little sort of Christmas design for you, this time in the sort of style of a bauble. Um, I'm just going to use my pencil to sort of mark out a line across which is going to be a snowy landscape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just use this a monotone palette of, of blues and what I'm beginning by doing is using a nice large size 8 brush to wet the page the area of the circle above this line I've just drawn so I want to get it nice and evenly evenly damp I don't want puddles of water um, so it's a little bit tricky to see probably on camera but I'm just getting every little area nice and wet here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some French ultramarine blue I get quite a lot on my brush and I'm going to oh look at that that's satisfying isn't it I'm going to paint around the edge try and do it with as steady a hand as I can might need a bit more blue at times of course you might have just naturally wetted certain areas more than others on your your bauble but that's okay so it's very tempting to want to poke about it with your brush but try not to I mean I'm desperate to just poke that but I'm, I'm not going to um, I've also got Prussian blue here that I've woken up in my palette and I've also got Payne's Grey the deepest darkest one I'm just taking a mixture of those two and I'm going to do one more outline just to get some real inky darkness around the edge okay happy with that oh that looks nice now whilst we let that dry down below what I want to create is a sort of snowy landscape and of course snow is white yes that is true but snow so often sort of reflects the colors and textures around it so I am going to I'm just going to sort of try and steer clear of that top bit there I've just really diluted down my color and this section of the page is dry and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of create a bit of a textured snowy landscape I'm really using hardly any color and if I'm brave I might sort of go close but I'm not going to go too close and I want to leave nice bits of unpainted space as well and a little bit of dry brushing looks quite cool as well so we need to let this dry 100% for the next stage that's all dry now um, now so many of you really enjoyed the uh, little snowy forest uh, painting that we did a few weeks ago so I thought wouldn't it be nice to turn that into yet another design for you to have a go at so we're not worrying too much about having like a wet background for our trees in the distance because this is such a little piece but what I am doing is I'm using the fainter colors the more dilute color here to begin our tree painting process so you can see here I've begun with a vertical line like so and then and I'm using my two tenths brush just from the top I'm just sort of zigzagging wiggly zigzagging my way down to create these trees and I'm going to add start to add a tiny bit more color to this one and then I am going to allow these to dry just a little bit won't take long 
and then we can add in stronger coloured trees as we come forward in the picture. That's dried really nicely so now I'm getting some slightly stronger colour and we'll pop in a tree sort of centrally so it's coming down further but it's also going up a bit further as well. Now one of the tips that I um, gave you guys in my snowy forest tutorial was all about sort of making sure your tree didn't get too wide too quickly so if you wanted to sort of draw in a pencil line to help you make sure it doesn't go out too far that's applicable for this tutorial as well and then the other thing I'm doing cleaning off my brush I could get a slightly larger brush actually to do this bit the clean wet brush I'm just going to soften the ground there now that is a rather lovely little scene but as I said earlier this is a bauble so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint two little ups, upright lines Well, you could just keep it nice and simple by just sort of blending those colours in a little bit, a little bit of shine. Or if you wanted to make it a little bit fancier, you could just make the uh, top of the bauble a bit more of a dome-like thing and let that bleed down into the wet paint and then have a little loop it all depends how much time you've got I guess I mean I like to encourage people not to rush through these processes um, but if you are painting lots of these for Christmas cards then yeah you might you might want to <laughs> you might want to sort of not bother with too much of this kind of detail and then if you want you might want to Give yourself a little pencil guide of a of a vertical line, and then I've got my rigger brush. I'm just going to paint in that string, and I'm just going to let that dry, rub out the pencil, and then we've got a gorgeous Christmas bauble quick fix. With the pencil all rubbed out, that's my cue for a nice last little bit of detail you know me I can't help myself just some extra little um, flourishes on the top of the bauble there and you can see how the uh, the pencil with the pencil gone it just looks really beautiful and crisp and then because it's Christmas you might want to pop in a little star just a few little ones around and about now, aren't you glad that you didn't poke about with that um, blue wash at the beginning because it just looks really lovely now okay there is my quick fix Christmas bauble card design for you